A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. A federal judge in Manhattan denied an effort by Donald J. Trump to move his already adjudicated state criminal case to the federal courts on Tuesday, rejecting his claims of bias against him as well as his claims of presidential immunity. In late May, a jury convicted the former president on 34 felony counts of falsifying records to cover up hush money payments to a porn star, Stormy Daniels, who had threatened to go public with her account of an affair. A state judge, Wanim Merchant, has scheduled his sentencing for September 18, though Mr. Trump has asked him to delay it until after the presidential election. In a four-page decision on Monday, Judge Alvin K. Hellerstein of federal court in Manhattan said he could not evaluate Mr. Trump's claims of bias, saying those were issues for the state courts. But he said that Mr. Trump's claims of immunity for official acts based on a recent Supreme Court decision affirming such protection were irrelevant in this case. He noted that hush money payments were private, unofficial acts, outside the bounds of executive authority. The ruling leaves Trump's case in state court, where he is scheduled to be sentenced September 18. Subscribe to continue reading this article. Already subscribed? To login in, click here. Originally published, September 3, 2024 at 6.11 p.m. A federal judge on Tuesday rejected Donald Trump's request to intervene in his New York hush money criminal case, thwarting the former president's latest bid to overturn his felony conviction and delay his sentencing. U.S. District Judge Alvin Hellerstein ruled that Trump had not satisfied the burden of proof required for a federal court to take control of the case from the state court where it was tried. Hellerstein's ruling came hours after Manhattan prosecutors raised objections to Trump's effort to delay post-trial decisions in the case while he sought to have the federal court step in. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office argued in a letter to the judge presiding over the case in state court that he had no legal obligation to hold off on post-trial decisions and wait for Hellerstein to rule. Prosecutors urged the trial judge, Juan M. Merchant, not to delay his rulings on two key defense requests. Trump's call to delay sentencing until after the November election, and his bid to overturn the verdict and dismiss the case in the wake of the U.S. Supreme Court's presidential immunity ruling. Merchant has said he will rule September 16 on Trump's motion to overturn the verdict. His decision on delaying sentencing has been expected in the coming days. Trump was convicted in May of 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to conceal a $130,000 hush money payment to adult film actor Stormy Daniels, whose affair allegations threatened to disrupt his 2016 presidential run. Trump has denied her claim and said he did nothing wrong. Falsifying business records is punishable by up to four years behind bars. Other potential sentences include probation or a fine. In a letter Tuesday, Assistant District Attorney Matthew Colangelo reiterated that prosecutors have not staked a position on whether to delay sentencing, deferring to Merchant on an appropriate post-trial schedule. Trump's lawyers have argued that sentencing Trump is scheduled, just two days after Merchant's expected immunity decision, would not give him enough time to weigh next steps including a possible appeal if Merchant rules to uphold the verdict. They also argued that sentencing Trump on September 18, about seven weeks before Election Day, would be election interference, raising the specter that Trump could be sent to jail as early voting is getting underway. Colangelo said Tuesday that prosecutors were open to a schedule that allows adequate time to adjudicate Trump's motion to set aside the verdict while also sentencing him without unreasonable delay. In a letter to Merchant last week, Trump's lawyers said delaying the proceedings is the only appropriate course as they seek to have the federal court rectify a verdict they say was tainted by violations of the Republican presidential nominee's constitutional rights and the Supreme Court's ruling that gives ex-presidents broad protections from prosecution. If the case is moved to federal court, Trump's lawyers said they will then seek to have the verdict overturned and the case dismissed on immunity grounds. The Supreme Court's July 1st ruling reigns in prosecutions of ex-presidents for official acts and restricts prosecutors in pointing to official acts as evidence that a president's unofficial actions were illegal. Trump's lawyers have argued that prosecutors rushed to trial instead of waiting for the Supreme Court's presidential immunity decision, and that prosecutors erred by showing jurors evidence that should not have been allowed under the ruling such as former White House staffers describing how Trump reacted to news coverage of the hush money deal and tweets he sent while president in 2018. Trump's lawyers had previously I. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, 
so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.